This guide will show you how to boot in safe mode on Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7. The video was shot with a camera instead of with software because you can't use software to capture a screen while the computer is booting. The quality is a little bit low, but you'll be able to see it. I'm restarting the computer and I'm tapping the F8 key. And I just keep tapping it until I get a white uh, text menu on a black background. And there we go. Now this is the Windows 7 safe mode uh, or boot menu and in this case what you would do is use the arrow keys and move down to safe mode and press enter if you want to go into safe mode if you want to go into safe mode with networking so that you can see the internet while you're in safe mode you would go down to the second line and press safe mode with networking I'm gonna go into safe mode in this case so I'll press enter and you will see a whole lot of software that's gonna scroll up on the screen this is normal and when it's finished loading all the software necessary for Windows to run we will get the Windows desktop and I will log in and I now have the Windows desktop now you'll notice that in Windows 7 the help screen will pop up right away when you're in safe mode we'll just close that and you'll notice across the top and also in the corners it'll say that you're running in safe mode in Windows XP you'll actually get a dialog box that will come up in the middle of the screen warning you that you're in safe mode in that case just click the OK button that appears on that box and uh, you'll be in safe mode. Now you can go ahead and do whatever you need to do in safe mode, whether it be a, a scan looking for malware or unloading a driver so you can reinstall a new driver on a normal boot. As an addendum for Windows XP users, after you choose to go into safe mode, Windows XP will usually ask you which operating system you want to go with. Just press the enter key and it will continue to boot into safe mode.